Hi everyone, welcome back to Rich King Coaching's YouTube channel. Uh, today I've got a special guest from the team in Omar Maguid. Hi Omar, how are you doing? All good. All good. good, yeah. So we've got Omar on board today because to get some great insights from him. Also, um, we're going to be kind of upping the, the uh, tactical aspect in this series by looking at patterns of play. So what are successful patterns of shots, how to become more tactically aware when playing your matches. Our past few series have been on the basic skills and the shots and techniques, which are very valuable. But now we want to bring uh, a better knowledge uh, to you viewers back at home in how you can be more effective at combining those shots and what uh, good patterns to do. Now, this first one that we're going to be discussing about um, is a very, very uh, useful way of stretching your opponent, uh, putting them under pressure, making them work really tough diagonals on the court. The really uh, important aspect here is that, first of all, there's a real purpose behind what you're doing. You have a positive attitude to that you're using one shot to help another. It has to combine well. So therefore, if you're a bit hesitant with that, uh, you're not going to be as successful. We're going to be looking at the basic building blocks of a length rally and a drive, and then how you use the attacking two-wall boast or three-wall boast to push your opponent into the front corners. Uh, to force your opponent to hit cross court or lift the ball. The follow up shot will then be the volley length down the line. Okay, so because you're playing the volley length, you have to step forwards, you have to have a high tee position, but more importantly, you have to be very confident to play that shot. You're not going to succeed if you don't try in this aspect, so please try to have a high position. Please try to be confident with the way you approach it. Confidence is expressed in your movement. So when you see me and Omar performing this routine, uh, you will see how we step into the ball. We have our racket up quickly. The movement is going forwards into the shot. We'll do some at slow speed, and then I'll try and compete with this guy at fast speed sometimes. Um, but I think before we start on this pattern, Omar, is there anything in particular that you'd say is really, really important other than what I've just said for this exercise? I think the timing of the boast is quite important. Um, picking the right time to push your opponent to the front, but you first have to start by hitting a proper aggressive length to the back, and then after that you can push your opponent and then push up the team. And how can the uh, viewers understand what is an aggressive length? What are they kind of targeting there when they're playing their shots? Well, when you kind of see the back of your opponent when they're moving into the corner and you feel like they're stretching into it, that means you're putting enough pressure on them in the back. Okay, perfect. So we're going to try and demonstrate this now. Uh, we'll do some a little bit slower tempo and pace. Uh, we'll demonstrate both sides uh, and then we'll also have a go a bit more in real time, uh, unfortunately for me. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay. Just a couple of lengths to get going. There you go. Yep. Too cold, we should have warmed it up.
you the best. Uh. Oh. Okay, so there you've just witnessed um, the pattern of the attacking deep length, utilizing the free wall burst or the two wall burst to push your opponent deep into the corners, force the cross court, force the lift, and intercept the volley. Uh, we tried to demonstrate it at a slower speed, although I think we get a little bit competitive sometimes. So. But there was also some demonstrations, you know, of things when it was successful and worked really well, certain moments where not so successful, and I'd like to discuss a little bit about what you should be trying to achieve mostly. One thing is the moment of when you decide to hit the boast. Look in, look in gameplay for when your uh, opponent's uh, weight is a little bit further back. Maybe they're sitting back on their heels on the tee, or you've pushed them deep enough, because then the boast is really going to stretch them, because they're in a less positive position. But to actually get onto the volley successfully, it's about the speed that you come through the tee. In fact, there was one example on the forehand where um, I was too quick to the tee. So I ended up getting my timing, getting there too early. So my timing for the movement into the shot and then the volley was not quite correct because I had to wait and stop. So you should be coming quickly out of the back corner and then decelerating as you come forwards onto the volley. Then you can just naturally make your movement come onto the ball. Um, the other aspect I think, Omar, like the preparation, what would you say about the preparation as you're moving forwards onto the volley? Um, I think the most important thing is to not move into the ball without seeing it. Uh, if you guess, and then you, even, even if you guess it right and the ball is too close to you, the quality is not going to be that good. So you have to first wait, watch, and then react, not uh, guess. Yeah, react to the shot of yeah. the cross court, yeah. And then preparation-wise, short, quick preparation, like... Yeah. It depends on what kind of shot do you want to play. Do you want to hit the ball fast and hard? Then you need to keep the racket uh, high up and have a bigger swing. If you just want to like punch a ball in, then a shorter uh, swing. I myself like a bigger swing to yeah. give myself more variety of shots. If I want to hit a cross court or yeah. straight or whatever, just yeah. give me more of options. Okay, awesome. But most importantly, getting the movement response from when your opponent has actually hit the shot, yeah. right? Yeah, okay, great. All right, well, put that into practice. I'd like to hear some comments and feedback from you, and uh, good luck.